to a British boxing blog. Uh, delighted to be joined by Thomas Hodgson. Been a while, mate, but been meeting again right, the line for a while. And thanks for joining. Yeah, no problem. Are you okay? Always nice to you, mate. Where I spawn? How's you? Aye, right, good, mate. Good. Uh, not so bad. So, are you in camp now for a February date or a March date? Uh, both. Um, both really. Look, because like by the time I box, I'm back in the gym Monday, and I think it's like four or five weeks after that. So, but since Christmas, really, I had so non not 2020, mate. I was non stop 2021, even I was non stop. Mm. Oh, yeah, constant back to back fights. So, I was feeling it a bit towards the end, the end of the year, like, and uh, Christmas time was was that ideal for me, like, just to chill with my family and friends and get a bit rest in and just eat some food and that and just, just relax, get me feel. Oh, yeah. I needed it because. Even so, come back this year and that in the gym that my coach has been texting. He said it was yesterday. He's like, look, at that rest has done you the world of good. Like, you, you're starting to come together now and that. Because you were, you were active, weren't you, towards the, the back end of, since you Massive, made the mate. debut? Then. It catches up on you as well, you know. Like, Is it? Even, like, all from, like, like in the amateurs I've never had now like this. I was, like, obviously training loads and that, like, but even doing these, like, interviews and that, and they always on the phone and Jamie, me manager and that, everyone, like, I, I, I smile it's constantly right. in the gym. It is mentally draining, like, but I'm I'm learning on I'm learning like, it's good, but like I say I was I was busy out the start last year I was feeling it massively like. Wait, that's interesting you say that in it, because not many, you know. Just but... like I was because like even like before the before the lock before the lockdown happened all I was non stop me. I was in I was in a probably a, a three year camp or something I felt like anyways I felt like I'd done just I was doing jokes I was with Joan April at the time wasn't I so uh, every time Joan April was boxing I was doing their camps as well even though I had now coming up because I was in the process of turning pro at the time like waiting for my licence and stuff so yeah. aye uh, you went out with Fort Aventura for a bit and all didn't you you went out with Spain it was La- Lanzarote yeah, La- yeah, I I said Lanzarote, Lanzarote. Sorry, aye. Sorry. Aye, when, I, when I left GB boxing I was a bit like stuck I would say like I didn't know what was didn't know the crack one bit of professional boxing like I didn't know those like I didn't know you had to get, get licenses and do medicals and all that so I wait for all that and at the time I was I was a bit I was a little chubby thing I was fat it's mad it's all well, it? come I was fat I, I was fat I, was, I right now I was about 75 kilo like anyways that draws it I'll come to Lanzarote you know like just the, there's a place here. I've got like, yeah, 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 a little place over there right at the time, and I was like, I was like, I'm gonna give it a go. It was mental, like training, chilling in the sun, and that. And I needed it, like, it was intense. I lost a bit of weight now over there, and then when I come back, obviously, Dean, who I've boxed with for years, yeah. me, Joanne Dean have been in the same group for years, boxed for England, up and down the country, and that. And then uh, just then I would click me and Dean was was clicking that. He's well, like that. Then obviously, me, Dean, and Ross, it is now. Little Ross Wilson's a mole close, it's good. Got a good little circle, like it's funny that you say that because I obviously I used to bump into you like first conferences and different things. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, hey man, any news yet? And you're like, ah, soon, mate, soon, it's coming, it's coming. And obviously, like, yeah. like, I guess you were transitioning from amateurs to pros, and then the pandemic hit, and you must have been a bit like, it's got no idea, you know, my head was spinning, but no, it is, it was a, it was a blessing in disguise because me and Dean just grafted non stop in the gym, just. Because it is a totally different game than much as the pro professionals. Like, it is, it is 100%. My spot, even like this year, this year especially since I've been spawned, and I've done rounds up with Maxi Hughes and I've done yeah. rounds locally and that, I, I feel like I'm more, more of a pro now. Nothing's rushed. I've got time. Like, I'm starting to learn more. It's better. Like, it's, it doesn't happen overnight, obviously, I know that. But like, I'm, I, can see, I can feel the improvements when I'm in there and see more on that. Because when you first, when I first started going spawn these kids, I was like, I got hit and I was like, I need to chase us back. I need to chase us back because in a free freeze, like you're fitting up an amateur bow out, you're constantly chasing it back on you. Yeah. yeah. You down, so it's like you're always jittering and moving and that, but you've got the time, mate. That's that's what it is. Do you think you're like maturing a bit as well, like age wise and strength wise and stuff? Ma- well? Yeah, yeah, massively. That's what I mean. That lockdown done me. I was in, I was in doing strength for me, strength coach, Sharpie, Unique Fitness, and then main team were doing the boxing, and then I was just, yeah, it's just, when there for some nights just work on one thing all yeah. night though, you know, I just like I was looking at it, I think like, you know what I mean, you're taking the piss like are you taking like I I doing this on purpose, but like, <laughs> like it was made yeah. as like bulletproof though, like not in and I and when I'm in training and that like I feel like I can just punch for days and that now and like, even when I am doing stuff, it's just in the spawn that when it comes off, it just happens now. Like 
that's how it like, was those muscle memory just in as far as doing something that I, 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 I like I have to spot it a lot of them like, it does work it, everything you say is worth say is class do you think that that's like the importance of having like good sponsors and loyal sponsors people like it it let you have that time you know what I mean you didn't have to go out and mm-hmm. find other work and stuff and like uh, yeah. just dedicate yourself to boxing which must be a blessing really unbelievable mate you introducing know, found, like, new go daddy boxing's tough it is a tough sport and like do you know what it is though? I couldn't see myself doing anything else. Like, I've tried it all since I left school. I've tried going on building sites. I tried yeah. doing it all. And I, just, I was fucking hopeless. <laughs> I just thought, I used to stand there and just think, like, oh, what, what, what am I doing, yeah? Yeah. I've, I've, I've walked off my jobs and then I started jobs. And I've literally just been like, what am I doing? And then just leave. Just like, Fuck, I'm not doing this. But I owe my sponsors. I obviously have to get, when this gets posted, I've got to watch this. Like, Thank his loads because honestly, yeah, it couldn't do what I was like. It's massive, huge. When did you like going back right at the start? When did you like start boxing? Was it like how young were you? Like what made you get into it in the first place? The, I was like the you know, I'd say 30 and 40. I was playing football at the time, I was at a decent playing at a decent level, right? And uh, I, I had I tried for Newcastle and I was on new, like what Newcastle Academy that I was doing all right at football, oh, nice. played for the county, did I like, play for all the best clubs around there and stuff like that, and then. Got to an age where, like, you know, I just, I was getting, I just went for my fitness and that. Mm. When I was yeah. young, I always used to put, in, in my street, in where I used to live, there was, like, a little field of all used to, like, box on there, and I have little spas, and that one would have a pair of them Hulk gloves. Yeah, one would have a pair of Hulk yeah. gloves, one would have a pair of shit gloves, and we'd just, we're just kidding, we're, like, we're, like, 12, 11, we just, just breach of our all day. Then, we, we milked me up the street when, uh, John Henderson, he, he was called, he used to go, and I thought, oh, I'll come along with you. And then I just went and then just stuck in and that just, yeah. I loved it really. Me fit, then I had me, I don't know, on my first fight, I was either, I was playing for Newcastle City Juniors at the time and I was saying that they were playing against them in the academy. Oh, I could have my first fight and I never had my first fight. And uh, I was sick my first fight. Where? The referee, yeah, I got there. My first two fights, my first second fight, I was winning the fight as well and I would have been sick and the ref was like, Look, I don't know how. Then we, me and my dad thought it was my gum shield, but I cut my gum shield and everything. Well, was, it, was it like nerves or like no, probably maybe's like, like, nerves I have probably something like that but my yeah. second fight it happened as well but I managed to like get through like but I was horrible so what like what, what was your first amateur club like where were you in them early days like where no shields no shields no shields I was based I had no shields I was it was class well there was like I still speak to the kids out use the boxing now and the coach is not there I want to bone to them like we'll still have the same crack and that's good you ended up with Bertie, didn't you? Like towards the end of it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, about Shields, like, Shields, I wouldn't say it's folded, but like, it pretty much did fold them. I went to Howden, gym, yeah. just along the road. Then me, me and Dean, me, and Dean, uh, and my little pal, John Anderson, and I'm going to Bertie. What, what was it like there? Did you like it there? I was class. That's yeah. what made us, that, that's what made us the fight. I, I, that's, from there, like, I went on a box for like, me, 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 me region. Yeah, uh, but then got my first England vest. I think I represent England like four or five times. Then box went and got then gone to GB. But me, it was impossible not to come on in that gym. Like, mm. I think my first ball was against a like, Pat and Luke and that. And like, every week I was coming back with black guys. <laughs> my mum was like, Well, yeah, getting filled in there. Yeah. <laughs> but I used to love it, mate. I used to love it. It was class car. The competition's unreal. Must be, must be good seeing, you know, like you say, Pat, Luke, Cyrus, Frenchie, you know, yourself, like all. Unreal. All turn over now, and that that is some conveyor belt of like talent. That in it, it's incredible, really massive. You know, I'm, like North Northeast boxing in the next five years is going to be mental. Then, what do you what do you put that down? I ask everyone this, but you probably give the same answer. Like, what do you put it down to? Overtly, is it just Graham Rutherford being some sort of like genius, or is it like the sparring between each other that brings you on? And like, what is that, it has that both mm. both Graham Rutherford was like. He's, he's the best amateur coach there is, isn't it? 100%. Yeah. I, when I went, I was fucking shit scared of him, me. I'm still scared. So, <laughs> yeah, man. I was, you don't want to stay, no one would, no one would do nothing wrong because everyone respects him because he's class, all he does is he's like, he was with me, like, honestly, like, I need him in fights, me getting the slap in the corner and that, and you'd be yeah. like, they just got you, they you got you all right up for a fight and that and stuff, like that. and then you, 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 that was how you back 100%. 100% always have your back. He's class coach. He is really, really good. And I remember speaking to him once and I was down GB. I think he rang us and he, I think the World Championships was on and there was 
so many bouts on in that music. I can't you went to go and watch them. I think maybe in part of the music. I've sat and watched every single fight. I haven't missed a fight. Then when you come, you would come back and you would just say, so I'm just doing new stuff. And I, he was very, very clever. Like. So then obviously, like, then GB followed. When did you, when did you get that? Like, call and what was that whole experience like? How did you find that? Uh, I went there. I went. I went in the ABAs. Then I then yeah, he did. I, I wasn't even see them now. Then I went in the went in the ABAs. Then when I got on, I I was. Well, that's what that's what everyone's dream is, isn't it? Get on GB boxing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah. It is. I everyone. Like, I was. I was buzzing. Me. Like, I thought that's it. Bang. I've done late. Like, that must have been some movement. buzz winning the ABAs, was it? That must have been like, but yeah, I'm kind of good at this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just just for something that started for solely fitness and getting away from football. Aye, aye, it was. Thinking, but yeah, it's going to elevate this. Because it does, it just, it just ends up clicking on being around them kids, mate. There's, like I say, it's impossible not to come on. And I think it just started, started clicking and I started, believe, started believing in myself. Like, thinking, yeah, so when I was in the ABAs, I was... I, <laughs> No one even knew us really. No one even. I just went in there and I thought, fuck, fuck it. Everyone's got two arms. I'm just gonna gamble for me. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'm not. I am. I'm just gonna give every. I'm just gonna give everyone it. So, which I I box. I box well. After it, I had to be honest. I was. I had some fucking wars. I remember my head was so. But I was good. Very very good. I enjoyed it. When did the? When, I got to uh, when did the, like the you know sort of turning pro thoughts start coming in your head thinking oh I've got a decision to make here like when did that start taking over when I got on GB like I felt like I, did, I, I think I was on there for two and a half years and I just I, just, I, just, I, I wanted to do it kind of early mate. Like, I, yeah. I was, I, when Joe turned pro I was just to go to shows and that much I was thinking like but yeah like, I want a bit of this mate. like oh uh, yeah, yeah and I knew I knew I knew the pros as it was more of it me and that style would suit me and that but yeah but at the time I was on GB and I was me, I was going all, all over the world and go training camps all over the world and mixing it with the best kids and that and there. Mm. It was even just like living down like see your home. I'm a, I wouldn't I any mean, matter does a lot for us like and then uh, when I was down there I was like mm. how to do stuff myself, not like not like do the dishes and stuff like that. And, like, a, bit indep- a bit independent in that. Uh, yeah. I just a bit of stuff. I was, was so it was it was decent and made it grow a bit like it was good. And then obviously I, I said like you know, I kept used to bumming here like press conferences and stuff, and I was like, "How oh, yeah, are you, man? What's happening?" You're like, "Ah, man, soon, soon." And then obviously, I was the same. It's finally happened, and you've you've signed with, with Dennis Hobson, and you know now we three and you know, as you say, like really worked you towards like in the last year and that. Where did the Dennis Hobson thing come from? Like, was you know was that an easy deal for you to agree to and stuff? Well, well, at the time I was everyone struggling to get fights, weren't they? Yeah, I, then when I, I when I signed with Jamie and uh, one player manager, uh, he got us out quick as he was a, he, he he was pretty much certain to get us out quick as and even yeah. this year I'm, I think I'm penciled in like five times or something five times maybe even six but I uh, when a box he comes speak was after dinner and you've seen it it's one of the best years you've seen the yeah seen that he said it was the like one of then, the best, huh? Martha. then I, then when I went to go and sign the contract and that he was saying it was like. I've never been this excited to sign someone since I worked with Ricky Hatton and that and stuff like that. So, must be nice to feel know. wanted and feel like you know, like oh, you... no, it was it was mint, it was mint. Like I was just, I was just made up to box me at the time because I was yeah. that itching to go around to go. I'll be in the gym for for God knows how long. Not just thinking, when am I fighting? Like I'm doing yeah. all this, for, I'm doing this for nothing. Right. Then when I got got my first fight, when I made my debut and that, and I, all my pals and that were there, and like. Everyone that came watches, and I come out. I like, mean, it's 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 the best feeling in the world. I'm not saying coming out when you had just getting your arm raised and seeing your mates and that after that. Like, it must be amazing that. Aye, right? it's unreal because you make their night as well, don't you? Especially you, you know, your three professional fights so far have been down Yorkshire, haven't they? Do you know what I mean? So I, I know, on, I know. You know. They'll be on the coaches having a food drink and that. It's like a, it's like an away day sort of thing for them. You know it is, I. Like, obviously, I know Dennis Hobson's. Um, Got a Newcastle show penciled in for March. That must be something you really want to like take off your your list now and fight in your home city, your home region. You know what I mean? Hundred percent, mate. Like the amount of people, like I, I totally understand people not going like because it is. It's a two for people that go down there, mate. It's like two hour journey. Yeah, most of them stay over, go out on the drink, pay for hotels, 
Uh, it's it's not it's not cheap, you know what I mean. So mm. everyone that comes on and gets a ticket, me, I, I massively appreciate because they go well out of the way. Like, well, it's that's not cool. cheap. He has got a Newcastle day in March. It's, it's on a post. March, March, aye, March, mid March. But you've got so, another date coming up before that, haven't you? They're keeping you busy, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really want to meant to think like I probably like, don't get us wrong. I'm excited this out fast so, because it's going to be fast. Like it's going to be bouncing on all days, but. Get us out the way first, then we'll just. I'm gonna push on for that one night. Like, try and get, try and get, kind of few people to come there. Like, how will that work? How will that work for you now? Like, obviously, you're in camp now, you're training away, you're fighting February. What do you do? Take one or two days off, a couple of days off, and then just straight back into it, or what? Or like, I'm fighting on a Saturday. I'm, I spoke to you, called Jesse about it. Uh, box on the Saturday, have the Sunday off, and back on the Monday. But yeah. that Monday, that full week, it's just some more right. Like, See what I done wrong. Just as soon as you say you just you just you coach us go look at just do twelve round shadow and just let us, and you'll just watch us just for twelve rounds and then come in now with a crack that with a zig. It's good. Like, it's are you happy where you are now? Okay, sorry. What's up? Are you happy where you are now, training? Are you you with Ross now, aren't you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Proper buzzing like me, Ross and Dean have got and Joe's go for as well, so we've got a good little everyone's we've knew each other for years and more close than that, I'd say. It's good, it's good. I isn't Never, oh, a dull, never a dull day with Joe Lawson. Nah, he's bonkers. It's a so he, no, he, he's funny, mate. He's one of the funniest about like. Oh, so yeah. when, I, when I'm with me, you'll say something or you'll do something. I'm like, eh, like, you're watching mad on you. <laughs> <laughs> he's a different planet, isn't he? He's mental. But I need like need to be happy, don't you? Know? We're, all, we're all both in the gym, so it's good. There's a serious side about him, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? People just think, oh, he's got his daft hat on, he's got his cigar, you know what I mean? But behind yeah, that, he's, he's, you know, he markets himself really well and he stands out, you know what I mean? Which I think you have to do sometimes, don't you? He's very, he's clever, man. Joe's a clever kid. And then, do you know what? He's worth ethic made. Yeah. Second than not, I've never seen no one graph like him. Really? He's graph. He got me. Hold, like he's he's a proper workhorse. Like Jim Rafferty, he, he, he trains like I've never seen no one train like. I uh, really, that's it. Ah, uh, mate, honestly, honestly, I would, like even I was the new Joe, Joe's Joe's with Joe's animal in the gym. Like, I'll, have to, come, I'll have to come down and say hello and talk, you know. Ah, hundred percent, mate. Definitely. What is it like? Uh, like, how do you find being like sort of like you know mid twenties? You from you know, North Shields, Newcastle, like you know. We're sort of bred up here to like have a social life and go out and that. How do you, how do you like, how do you like not distance yourself from your pals, but how do you like not avoid, like, or how do you avoid like the temptations of like, you know, life up here and going on the session? Do you just... When I was like 17, when I was young and that, I don't know, like, I went out on that, I don't know, like, mm. but see me, mate, like, after I, had, I went out over the Christmas once, once over the Christmas, only had a couple of mates. Right. After me fight, when I want to say wrong, so I probably have one drink a year, if that one too. Yeah, I might want to see everyone over the, over the Christmas, and I had had a had a couple because all year, mate, every, when I box, I try and get around everyone and say like, "Oh, thank you for coming," in. but I just shoot off me. I used yeah. to just go home because I just want to get back to bed. But then I thought <laughs> me mate, like books, me mate, mate book somewhere at Christmas time, and I was done for the year. So I thought, right, I'll come, I'll come see you, isn't that? So what one say them? And the way it makes it feel, down the one like from Sheffield to Newcastle, I was lay on my, my girlfriend's car in the back, just like that on the side with a sick bag, right? And I just couldn't. It was the and I was just thinking to myself, why have I done this for? <laughs> what? And it was the worst feeling in the world. Uh, I just want to stop them over. I was like yeah. sweating and that, and like, do not do not just like people are different. Like I was seeing my pals, like they understand all, like. Yeah, they exactly. can. They can do it. They can, It's my job in it. Like I kind of. Yeah, exactly. I'm going yeah. in the ring. Like it plays on my. mind. I'm probably. Like, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Me, like even in the gym, like with stuff, like I get agitated. If I kind of get it right, and I'm like there till it gets right, and I'm like, and if that's on my mind, if I have a drink, like we're, we're fighting, I go. You know, it's, it's just there, and I just can't, I kind of do with me. It kind of settle. It's good that like that self like discipline. That I remember speaking to Colin French on here, and he was saying the same. He's like, I've got me pals, and what the good and. Like, if they're, like, real pals, then they understand, do you know what I mean? They're not, like... in your 100%. Year, man, how are you, man? Come out. And it's not like that, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. And you only get one crack at it, do you know what I mean? You only get one pro career, won't exactly, you? Exactly, exactly, mate, exactly. Like, I believe it's, I believe it's a devil, mate. Like, from where, I'm, where I'm from as well, I've seen people, like, we went to school from that and whatever, and, that, and the way they've taught the drink and that and whatever, yeah. and just how, the, how they've turned out and what's happened to them, it's like, 
fucking hell, it's, it's a shame, like, it is, it's nasty, it is nasty, like, you've got to be able to control it, like. Uh, absolutely, mate, 100%. Um, so, this year, 2022, you're saying before you want it, is it just a case of just stay busy for you now and just get experience and get them wins under your belt? Is that the plan? Maybe, I, 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 I just, I just find you, I just do what's for, like, what Jamie Dean and the team say, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go along with it, mate, but, mate, see what happens, see what happens. Well, again, like we said before, like Northeast boxing at the minute is like it's probably in its best place that it's been for a long time. Do you know what I mean? With all you, you up and comers like I'm at, uh, like stars coming through, and on top of whoever's you know already there, like your Ritsons, your Troy Williamsons, and Savannah, and all that, or Tommy Ward, and that. Do you know what I mean? Then, oh, and then like you, Cyrus, Frenchie, McCormack, Dickinson, it's like incredible, really, isn't it? Mate, it's, I just I mean give it give it like three, three to five years. It's mm. gonna be absolutely. Un- it's going to be unbelievable. Hopefully, we won't get a St. James's Park show. Like, it'd be absolutely class. It'd be incredible, that wouldn't it? I've seen it. Yeah, well, man, imagine, that. That. imagine that. Imagine that. Mate, it's an e better time to do it. Exciting times to be a Newcastle fan, isn't it? Do you know what exactly. I mean? 100%. 100%. Exciting times to be. Like, the football and boxing, you know, combine the two together, then it could just take off, couldn't it? Oh, massive. Massively. So, I, you, when February, the next phase, February. 12th, February 12th, I'm. February the 12th, and then up here in March, everything going well. I, I flat out. That's what I mean, like, that's why it's good fighting that so close together, because you're there. I'm, like, by the time I've boxed, I'm in the gym. I'm, I'm, it's just about maintaining, because it's, oh, the, it's there that the work's done, you know what I mean? Mm. It's interesting that you said it. It's such a, like, a, you know, you've, the difference between amateur and pro sort of caught you by surprise a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, you, you were a bit... 100%. It's interesting when you say that because, like, I'd you know, obviously being a, like a non, like, a, just a boxing fan, you know what I mean? Like, it's in what way, like, in just just the intensity of it all, like, the, the hardness, like, no man to con- no, no man to go, man, not mm. going, just like, yeah, if you watch, I watch me, if you watch how much about it, it's always like, yeah, like, like that, it's never, but then, like, is like, as, as, as a pro, I'm more like, and what I've noticed is like, picking your times. Yeah, pit changes and te- like when I was for Maxi Hughes and that and Josh Horton, like in that gym, I was speaking to Sean O'Hagan about it, and he was saying, like, just up and they're like, you, they'll do a sort of thing with the feet, or like, so for some, sometimes just take a round off, just for a round off, do nothing, then for sometimes they'll, 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 like, they'll do nothing, then they'll just make a switch off, and then they'll just put something on you, and it's like, yeah. it's clever, the, it's very, very experienced, like, ah, it is, it's good, it's good, it's like, but I'm learning, I'm, I'm learning, I'm, even when I'm spawned, like, Spawn locally and that, and then hopefully when I spawn them around, I can do it. I'm just like, I said, I had like one of the cracking that after them, like just saying, like, like, what do you think I was doing good? What do you think I was doing bad? And that, and just when I get back to the gym with Dean and Ross, just try and put it right. It's good that, like, like a, like a sponge for like information and that, like, and especially with aye, aye. Maxi Hughes and Warren and like two very experienced and talented fighters, you know what I mean? You can just pick things up all the time. You've got to, man, I 100%, like, they, they, Honestly, like when I was watching, I was like watching them train that, and when you have a bit cracking up with them, I say, like, Jesus, you know, you still feel like you can tell of the way they've done it or not. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you look, do you ever think like long term, do you ever think I want to be British champion or this or world, you know, like, or is it, is that a dangerous thing in boxing? Is it just like to get ahead of yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah, 100%. But I, I, I do obviously want to be a world champion, 100%. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I, I'm, I'm just one of them people who just take one fight at a time, mate. Yeah. Even though I know I'm fighting for a March, I'm just like, I'm trying not to think about it and just, just mm. get focused on this fight and get this fight out of the way and then just continue yeah. on. But I obviously, I mean, I've had everyone's dream is to be able to chant more than that. That's it, mate. But, exactly. But it's one step at a time, isn't it? You've got to... You exactly. Know. Exactly, I. But no, mate, honestly, I appreciate you uh, coming on and giving up your time on a Friday afternoon. Thank you very much. No problem, man. No problem, Stephen. Cheers. Enjoy your weekend, mate. Cheers, Tom. You too, mate. Watch what you do, mate. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.